go. Okay. Um, the journey that led me down to uh, to be part of the new conservative movement is I got involved with um, setting up the Sensible Sentencing Trust and helped in a, a lot of victims of crime. And uh, you know, when you're involved at the uh, top end of the law and order, breakdown of law and order uh, issues in this country, you look at what's created the high crime rate we have in New Zealand and ultimately it leads you to the breakdown in family. And, uh, the traditional political parties aren't interested in fixing the root causes of the problem at all. Just uh, more of the same seems to be the message from them. Well, you know, I was brought up in a family that taught me we need to stand up for uh, what we believe is wrong in society and try and leave the country better than we found it. So uh, that led me to um, setting up Sensible Sentencing Trust, which got me involved in a lot of the high profile crimes around New Zealand, which ultimately led to me uh, to starting to lobby political, and there was only one political party that was interested at all in trying to solve the issues and look at the root causes, and that was obviously the new Conservative Party. So uh, that's where I, uh, why I got involved in that. And then you look at what this um, existing government is standing for, and you've got Andrew Little saying, well, we should you know, let more people out of prison, prison's not the place for them. And, but it was a lot of their policies that actually created the problem, the breakdown of family values, those the issues that we're dealing with. So, um, you know, the traditional political parties weren't going to be an answer for me. So it led me to um, standing for the new Conservative Party at the last election. Um, and thoroughly enjoyed it and I love their policies, I love what they're standing for. I'm a farmer and they're very supportive of farming issues. But for me it's about trying to leave New Zealand better than I found it. Um, so uh, getting involved in new Conservatives and hopefully giving them enough members in Parliament to be able to make a difference. Just make a difference. Give some backbone to their existing political parties. Stand up for what we believe, which seems to be, you know, a dirty word these days. Mm. Families, are, you know, it seems to be foreign, foreign language, which I, I struggle with. You know, I've got four daughters. I've got a lovely family. I'm a family man. And... Uh, so the new Conservatives are, are it for me. So yeah, what led me here? Well, that's it in a nutshell really, and I just encourage New Zealanders to think very seriously when you vote. Think about what you're going to vote for. Think about the country you want to leave behind you. Not so much about putting more money in your wallet, that's not what it's about. It's about leaving the country better than you found it, leaving a country that's better for your kids, and um, voting for what you believe in, and the country that, um, the political party that's got the policies that you believe in. What's your uh, your take or your view on the justice policy with regards to the three-state sentencing that New Conservative is proposing? I, I like it, you know, I mean, it's putting the responsibility back where it belongs and uh, rather than the traditional um, justice system, if you like, seems to fudge all around the issues and whatnot. So I like, uh, you know, putting responsibility. It's accountability and responsibility for our... For our our actions, really, and uh, that's what the Conservatives are saying, and I totally agree with that.